electric cars. If, as the experts predict, most of us will be driving them in 20 years' time, then this material has a vital role to play. It's called silicon carbide and it's been developed here at the School of Engineering by Professor Phil Morby. What work are you doing on this? Well, we're looking at this material for a wide range of applications. Uh, automotive is one of them, but aerospace and uh, energy distribution is another area where this material could be used. We're taking this material and we're looking at ways of turning it into uh, components that are able to switch energy uh, through these different applications. So we're looking at uh, how this can improve a, a, a hybrid vehicle technology in particular. So what's the advantage of silicon carbide? Well, being a semiconductor that we call a wide band gap semiconductor, uh, it gives us many advantages. That wide band gap means that you can apply much higher electric fields to this material than you could to silicon without it breaking down. It also is much better at conducting heat, so any heat generated in this material will conduct away from it a lot more quickly. So that makes it much more suitable for very harsh environments like you have underneath the bonnet of a, an automotive vehicle or indeed in aerospace applications. But it's not cheap, is it? This wafer of silicon carbide costs £6,000. That's true. At the moment, the uh, market for this material in terms of the applications we're talking about is very small. Um, the main market which this is developed for is for um, uh, photonics, for producing blue LEDs. It also produces blue light, this material, and most of this material goes into that market. The power device is riding, uh, market is riding on the back of that, and uh, as time goes by, it will come to dominate the market for this material. And so the prices will drop significantly. Now, Professor Morby's department is currently involved in a joint project with the Toyota Motor Corporation. It's an area that researchers at Toyota are spending a great deal of time developing. By using silicon technology, we have uh, heat dissipation and uh, losses. Uh, these are electrical losses and uh, heat losses. But uh, by using silicon carbide, uh, we can reduce. It has a possibility to reduce these losses and that will have an uh, effect on the fuel efficiency, which will bring uh, better fuel efficiency. This is an inverter from a Toyota Prius. As you can see, it is large and heavy. Together with Professor Morby and the University of Warwick, we're trying to reduce the size of it for use in cars. We have some limitations of using the current silicon carbide technology in fitting it into motor vehicles, and we hope our three-year collaboration will help find solutions to this. Well, joining me now is Graham Roberts, who's a PhD student here in the School of Engineering. You're working on the Toyota project. What exactly are you doing? I'm developing models for silicon carbide shocky diodes and MOSFETs, two of the devices which are important in this Toyota project. And what's this machine here? This machine is a high-power curve tracer, which automates the capture of DC characteristics for the devices I've mentioned. How long does the project go on for, and what are you hoping to achieve by the end of it? Well, I'm going to be studying this for the next three years with my PhD. By the end of it, I hope to have published a good number of scientific papers on the area of silicon carbide and other wide band gap semiconductors. Thank you, Graham. But, Professor Morby, there are other companies you're dealing with. There are several other companies uh, and different application areas that uh, also could benefit from the uh, properties of silicon carbide. For example, we're working with a company in rugby that make wind turbines. They could also make a uh, huge benefit from this material. Likewise, we're working with a company in the aerospace sector. Uh, obviously, they require materials which are lighter and uh, smaller for, to uh, fit into planes to make them, uh, uh, to give them more fuel efficiency. Finally, there's a company which uh, are looking at uh, the use of silicon carbide in power distribution systems in, in the Midlands as well. Um, and as you can see, if we put all these uh, areas together, then silicon carbide has a very, very bright future indeed.